Current climate policies will result in global warming of over 3 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. This is according to a United Nations report. The annual emissions gap report has found that the world faces as much as 3.1 degrees Celsius of warming above pre-industrial levels by 2100 if governments do not take greater action on slashing planet warming emissions. Well, this mark is more than twice the cap of 1.5 degrees Celsius, which was set by the 2015 Paris Agreement. And it was set to prevent a cascade of dangerous impacts. Here's a report. A new UN report warns that the world faces catastrophic climate consequences under current policies. It says the world is on a path to warm more than 3 degrees Celsius, or 5.4 degrees Fahrenheit, by the end of the century. That's double the 1.5 degrees Celsius cap that countries agreed to in Paris nearly a decade ago. Here's UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. We are teetering on a planetary tightrope. The emissions gap is not an abstract notion. There is a direct link between increasing emissions and increasingly frequent and intense climate disasters. The UN's annual emissions gap report takes stock of countries' promises to tackle climate change compared with what's needed. It suggests nations must collectively cut emissions by about half in the coming decade, a target seen as likely out of reach. The world has currently warmed by about 1.3 degrees. At next month's annual UN Climate Summit in Azerbaijan, countries will work to build on an agreement made last year to transition away from fossil fuels. Summit negotiations will help inform individual countries' emissions-cutting strategies, which are due in February. The report also asserts that under current pledges to take future action, temperatures would still rise between 2.6 and 2.8 degrees Celsius by 2100. This is in line with findings from the past three years. The report further suggests that nations must collectively commit to and implement a cut of 42% on yearly greenhouse gas emissions by 2030 and reach 57% by 2035. It says that this is the only way to prevent warming beyond 1.5 degrees Celsius, a target now seen as out of reach for the countries. And well, to discuss more on this, we have with us former Executive Director of UN Environment Programme, Eric Solem, who is also a former Minister of Climate and the Environment of Norway. He's joining us live from Oslo. Welcome to We're on Climate Tracker, Mr. Solem. Now, a stark warning has perhaps emerged from the recent UN report indicating that the current climate uh, policies are leading the world towards a troubling future with global temperatures expected to rise more than three degrees Celsius. Your assessment of that report, which of course sends uh, a warning to all the countries. Yes, as you say, this is a very stark war warning. If we don't take action, we will have very negative impacts on the planet. You see them already. I mean, in the introduction here, we saw heavy rains and cyclones in India. Uh, everyone who remember what the temperatures in Delhi, like April, May last year, 52 degrees. It was, of course, horrible. Uh, there are wildfires in the Americas, in Brazil, California, and, and, uh, and Canada. There have been heavy floods in China, in Pakistan, in Central Europe. So we see all the impacts already. But of mm -hmm. course, unfortunately, they will be drastically exacerbated unless we take massive action. Right, Mr. Solomon, just to follow up on that, um, according uh, to the annual emission gap report, the work done by the countries to mitigate uh, carbon emissions and global temperatures is not enough at this point of time. Uh, what do you think is the way forward? It's not enough, but unfortunately, the UN tend to overfocus on the West and underfocus on the developing world, so don't really get the change which is underway. Look, uh, this the last year, Indonesia came down to zero deforestation, and Brazil drastically reduced deforestation. 
In India, the state of Gujarat has set a target of 100 gigawatt uh, of renewable energy by 2030, and it's already well on its way to construct that in the deserts of Gujarat. That's an enormous target which will completely transform uh, the energy mix of Gujarat, but have impact of all of India. And China, of course, is now reaching its climate targets five or six years ahead of time. And when I recently visited many Chinese cities, you see that all scooters, all taxis, all buses are all electric. Many trucks are electric and half of all new cars are electric. Hmm. So it's an enormous transformation, but it's not no longer led by the West. It's led by India and China. And that's not normally reflected in UN reports, unfortunately. Right, Mr. Solomon, thank you for joining us on Beyond Climate Tracker with your insights.